Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching if you are. I haven't done one of these talking videos in so long. So it feels super awkward, but here we are. Happy, happy 2020. Um, I really wanted to do a New Year's Eve look. Although on New Year's Eve this year, I had a tummy bug and was laid in bed feeling very nauseous and vomiting and 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 but i really really wanted to do a new year's eve makeup look and get that up on my channel so i went super super glam with the eyes i've applied some false eyelashes full coverage skin extra highlight and a nude lip pretty much the same look i do every single time i go out um obviously i am a little bit late as per usual but this look is applicable for any sort of glam event that you have going on this is a huge year for me and my family um, a lot of firsts happening. I started a new job. I really start school on Wednesday. Today is Saturday, so I'm super nervous for that. I recently just completed or almost completed a microblading course. I just have the final assessment to do, and then um, I'll be able to do clients. So that's really, really exciting. I also have sort of revamped my workspace at the salon that I do makeup out of. A big year for us all. Just hope that you guys have the most blessed, happy, um, incredible 2020 and I hope that nothing but good things happen to all of us. Don't forget to like, share or subscribe or show some sort of support. Let me know what you think about the makeup look and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye. So, I'm going to be starting off with the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I absolutely adore this palette. And I'm going to be starting with the Hashtag, um, that beautiful orange shade. And I'm just going to be popping that in my face. I'm going to be going in with are you kidding me popping that into the crease as well which is a little bit lower just building up the intensity of the crease I'm going to be going in with the shade Teddy Bear now, just on a smaller fluffy brush and again putting it into the crease to intensify it even more. Um, after that I'm going to be moving on to another palette. I'm sorry guys, I know that's annoying. But I'm going to be using the Jack and Hill palette and I'm going to be going in with this deep red maroon shade over there. And this I'm going to be applying on the outer lid and on the inner lid. I'm moving on to a this dark 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 brown shade on a flat shader brush and I'm going to be applying that outer corner a little bit in the inner corner okay it's a little bit cray cray but never fear never fear never fear I'm going to be then grabbing my concealer and popping that in the middle. Okay, I'm then going to be taking my new palette. This is the Revolution Intensely Pigmented Foil Eyeshadow Palette in Foil Frenzy Fusion. Okay, for underneath the eye, I'm going to be going in with, with that dark, dark maroon shade. Then I'm going to be going in with that very, very dark, dark brown that we used on the outer corners and 
just applying it right underneath the waterline. A different way and it makes your, your lips look more plump and more full but still natural so how I've been doing it is literally just overlining the bottom of my bottom lip and then sticking to the natural line of my lip when I sort of go up so then to fill the rest of my lips and I'm going in with MAC lipstick in the shade spirit battery dies because it's going to do that. I'm going to be highlighting using my Revolution highlighting palette. Okay guys then that brings us to my finished New Year's Eve very very glam makeup look. I hope you guys have a, an amazing 2020. I hope that everyone is blessed and happy and healthy and that things good things just come to all of us. 2020 is our yay yay. Thanks so much guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.